Hello everyone and welcome back, Dom here and this video has been requested so many times by so many of you so I think it's time that I did it, right? So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Machina, one of the most popular groove boxes and drum pad controllers to work with GrooveAgent and GrooveAgent SC and how you can do some really cool tricks with it. And not only that, but I'm also going to share my template with you, coming up. So as I said, this is a video requested so many times and I'm actually really happy to do this for you guys, especially because Machina Plus was just released, I have my eyes on this, uh, but this will work for pretty much any Machina version. I have Machina Mark III here, which is a great, great piece of kit. I've been using it for such a long time and I love it. I love Machina the software as well. But sometimes you might want to use Machina as a pad controller for your drum machines. For example, Groove Agent 5 in Cubase uh, or anything else that you might be using. And it's super capable of doing this. It's so easy to set it up and it's actually a really, really good pad controller. So so when I'm not playing the drums on my keys, I always like something like the Machina. And this is an incredibly responsive pad controller. So let me show you how you set it up. Okay, I'm not running Cubase at this stage, I'm running just Groove Agent 5, the full version, but this will also apply to Groove Agent SC, of course, inside Cubase. No difference at all. So here we have Groove Agent 5, okay, this is the standalone version. And I'm using Groove Agent 5 for a specific reason, because I want to show you what else you can do with Machina and Groove Agent 5. It's really, really cool. So stick until the end. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure that Machina is included in your MIDI inputs. Okay, right here as you can see I have all MIDI inputs selected and I have Machina Mark III external MIDI, control MIDI and so on and so forth. So this is all good, I should be good to go. Now, the thing is that when you try and use Machina with Groove Agent or any other instrument for that fact, it doesn't work. It only works with the software. It works with Machina 2 software. And that's not what you want to do. You want to use this basically as a MIDI controller. That's all you want to do. And in order to do this, it's super simple actually. You need to press Shift and then the channel MIDI button right here at the top. Even in older versions, it's almost the same thing, but it's always a combination of shift and this button right here, okay? So you want to turn this into a MIDI controller. Now that I've done this, as you can see, I have all the colors right there. I'm gonna show you how to do all these things. And it's now a MIDI controller. So I can immediately start playing my Groove Agent sounds. Okay, you get the point. Now, how do we get to this point? Let me show you. A very important step that you need to do in order to customize Machina for your needs is to use the controller editor from Native Instruments. So let me double click on this and now it opens. And this is it, this is how it looks like. This is the controller editor. And as you can see, I have some templates here. This is where you can set up Machina to work with any of your instruments. You can set it up exactly like you want to. And in this case, I'm going to set it up for Groove Agent and Groove Agent SC. So let me show you how it works. As you can see, this is my template and I will have it in the link down below. But let me start from scratch, okay? And let me show you how I build that template. So I'm going to go new and I'm going to create a new template. And as you can see, now I have everything initialized. Now, how do you start creating your template for Groove Agent? It's actually very simple. These buttons correspond to the octaves, okay? And most Groove Agent instruments, actually most drum instruments, start from C1. Okay, so I'm going to go and select bank number C, and this starts from C1. Okay, and I can immediately play the sounds like this. If you don't want to customize it even further, you can stop here, okay? You can save this as a template and it's done. 
But if you want to make it look a little bit more shiny, with more colors, you know, a little bit more interesting, a little bit more groovy, I think that it helps if you want to set up your controllers. Stick around, okay? Let me show you how you do this. First of all, the first thing that I can do is start changing my colors. So in order to start changing all these things, I can go to Assign. So let's say I want to change the color of my banks here, okay? I can go to C, for example. See, I can just change them like this. And I can say I want this to be red, okay? And it becomes red. Let's go to Bank D and make it blue, dark blue. And there we go. And let's go to E and maybe change this to something like um, magenta and maybe here I'm gonna do some random colors you will get the point okay the same exact thing you can do for your pads for example if I go back to C and these are the most common pads that I'm going to use I can go to C1 and for C1 I might want to choose let's say red okay and it becomes red now it can be single or it can be dual. So when it's dual, that means that you have the color off when you don't hit the pad and on when you hit the pad. So if I make this, like, let me give you an example. Blue, see? So it's orange, but when I hit on it, it becomes blue. And that's nice and funky. And you can keep on adding colors to your template like this. And I love doing that because I can then match the colors to Groove Agent as well. And it really helps when I'm producing and I can see what's on the screen and then everything else is mirrored here. Now you can't really synchronize this, but you can do this, you can save presets and I find that it works really, really well. Now some other things that you can start assigning and changing are these buttons here. So as you can see, we have quite a few buttons there. And I also have some controllers here. So for these, again, when you touch them, you can change the number of the controller, you can change the CC number, and you can even change the color as well. So for example, if I click on this one, then I can go orange and see it becomes orange on my screen. If I go for this one and I make it blue, it becomes blue on my screen. You can even change the names. So for example, if I want CC71 to be the filter, I can just click on this, write the name, and now this name appears on my screen for my machina. Really useful, and you know, again, you don't have to do all this, even just setting the CC number will be enough, but for me, I found that it always helps when I know that, okay, this is my filter, this is, let's say, my panning, and all these things. All these things you can control inside Groove Agent later on. For example, let's say I want to control this cutoff, using my filter here. I right click, learn CC, and then I can start moving the control on Groove Agent. Okay, same thing I can do and forget CC and maybe I want to learn CC and control it with this ribbon here. Really, really cool. Now, let me show you my template, okay? Because this is how you build a template, basically. Let me go back to templates and let me load the template that I have for Groove Agent, okay? There we go. Now, a very cool thing that you can do on the Machina itself is that you can load those templates very easily. So, as you can see, when I load my DOM template, you see that it appears here on the screen. If I load the template that we just started to create, it just changes it right here. So I can always know which template I'm using. And you can even select templates from the hardware itself. If I press shift and use these arrows here, see I can go template one, DOM Groove Agent, and the template three that we just started to create. So let's go back to my template. And as you can see, I have my nice colors there. I've selected everything. I have my cutoff, my resonance, my CC controllers. I use this for attack, for release, it depends, you know. But now, I'm ready to go. Now with Groove Agent, the full version, we also have some really cool performance effects. If you go to the performance page here, okay, you can activate this. And here you can say, okay, I want to activate some performance effects like this one. some, you know, 
Really, really cool. But there are many ways that you can control these. You can control these using the trigger source and this can be set to keys. This is really useful if you're using a MIDI keyboard, I find, but you can also use controllers and check that out. Now, here's where the next customization takes place. So now you will see that I can trigger all these performance effects using these buttons right here, all these buttons right here. Let me show you, let's take this snare. Okay, and the way I've done this is, let me show you my template one second. As you can see, we have some CC controller set here in Groove Agent. So CC controller 20 triggers this articulation. CC controller 23 activates the triplets. CC controller 26 activates the 32nd notes. So let me show you again. We have these assigned right here. And as you can see, if I go to this one, you can see I have CC 20 and I have CC controller number 20. And this one is 21, this one is 22, and so on and so forth. Now let me show you how this reacts when I play. Okay, very, very easily I can trigger all these articulations. Now let me show you one thing when you're setting up these controllers that is really, really crucial and you can get confused if you don't do this, okay? If you want to go for this controller, for example, which is, let's go for controller CC22, which will activate my eighth notes, okay? Now, this is it. See, when I lift my finger, this stops. But once I lift my finger, they all stop. So that's what you want, right? You want to trigger it, and then when you lift your finger, it stops doing its thing. So let me show you how you do this. It's actually one little control that you need to set up so that it works properly. So let's go to CC22. As you can see, CC22. I can even change the controller color. Let's make it orange, and you can see that it changes there. Actually, I'm, uh, I should actually I should do this to be honest with you. But the most important thing is that you should set this to gate mode, okay? You shouldn't set this to toggle really, you shouldn't set this to trigger, you should set this to gate. When you set it to gate, it will do exactly that. Okay? Same with this one. And I've also set the same controllers actually a selection of them to these buttons because these are really useful if I'm controlling this ribbon right here. So for example, if I go to my snare, okay, and I want to add this to my cutoff, and let's say I want to assign the cutoff to my ribbon right here, then very easily I can go and do this. Okay, so I can control the filter here and also my performance controls. So once you do all this and you have your template ready to go, you might want to add more things, you might want to customize it a little bit more. For me, this is enough, it works. And as you can see, all the buttons can do something. So you might want to set any button of these available to control a function in Groove Agent. And most of the times, all you need to do is right click and then you can learn CC and immediately you have that ready to go. If I want to assign something to my distortion, learn CC, and I can assign something to my distortion. And I would always advise that you label your CCs, okay? So I only use cutoff and resonance most of the times when I want to do a little bit of real time, but sometimes I want to keep this open for other things that might change. Cutoff and resonance are very standard. Maybe I'm going to add the distortion, you know, sometimes, but then everything else, I'll leave it open. And of course I can go to different banks and I can have another bank of controllers there. So it's very, very useful and customizable. And you'll be surprised on how well Machina works as a controller for Groove Agent and Groove Agent SC. And it goes without saying that you can use it with any synth. You can use it with Retrolog, you can use it with anything else that you want to trigger, you know, or you want to play chords like this. I don't really like playing pitched instruments on pads, but that's just me. You might enjoy it or you might find it more easy to do than play it on the keyboard, but pretty much in a nutshell, that's how you can set up Machina 
to control Groove Agent, Groove Agent SC, the effects, and pretty much everything else. It's a really, really powerful combo. So if you enjoyed this video and if you found it useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'd love to see you back and please share it with any Machina owner that wants to take advantage of what it can do inside Cubase and with something like Groove Agent and Groove Agent SC. I'm sure they will be very happy and they will thank you for it. Until next time, have loads of fun guys. Thanks so much for watching and groove on.